Antonio! The season. What's the reason that they won't take the indoor one? Explain that again. Because what did they say? Indoor 5K and a 3K are considered not main events. Only outdoor, you need two outdoor 5Ks basically. Okay. Period. And you can have one indoor 5K or you can have one 3K. Doesn't matter if the 3K is indoors or if it's outdoors. And I didn't know that. Okay. I thought if I ran Stockholm, they would use my Stockholm 3K and then use my indoor out, indoor 5K uh -huh. and then my European Champs 5K. Mm -hmm. And that would put me like 30th ranked in the world. But because they can't take that indoor race, I have like a 1337 championship race in there because I missed this whole season. beginning of the season. Yeah. So now this is it. We Hold have it, you know? Yeah. Like everyone else in this sound running race, all are the last people in or out. Yes, like Kai and you. Morgan, Kieran, uh -huh. Charles, all those guys. We're all within like the 50th to 35th range. Got a decent amount of our track guys um, doing some racing after the championship season. We got Antonio doing his debut in the 1500. Okay. And that's going to be pretty big. That we definitely want to cover that. Points. And so first race as a ten man. Yeah, I feel like that's really important. He's been a recruit since last year at this point, and been super excited to get out to Boulder and be a part of the team. You can just see the passion that he has, and yeah. he just checks all the boxes of what being a good tin man means. And what I've seen in practice with him, like he just brings like a whole new energy kind of to the yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. And so it's really fun to kind of watch that, and it's something that I feel like the team needs. Yeah. For sure. We got a bunch of old guys now. <laughs> we need uh, we need the young faces. Yes. We have Drew with his 1500. Uh, he's coming off of a little bit of his like sickness this week. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it's gonna be a good race. We don't know if it's gonna be bad, but um, we know that he's gonna get out there and give it everything he has on the day. And like that's something we can count on Drew for. Like yeah, he's gonna give it everything. Yeah. I think he had a great showing at USA's. He had an incredible prelim and didn't quite finish in the final where he wanted to, but. I've seen just such a confidence in Drew and his racing ability and although he's been more fragile than I know he'd like to be with dealing with sickness and little injuries that come up here and there and he's been dealing with sickness going into this one, like he's going to be able to compete, you know, and yeah. um, like Drew's the best competitor that we have on this team. As long as he can get out there and continue to get out there this summer, um, he's going to run some really fast times. So we have Joey racing in the steeplechase, which is his first race since USA's. Mm -hmm. And that um, after falling in the prelim at USA's, I know that was kind of difficult for him, yes. and it was difficult for us to watch. And it's just kind of like, dang, like because we see how much work Joey puts in, like yeah. each and every day, each and every practice, and we know that he's fit, and we know that he's putting in so much work and just grinding away. Mm -hmm. And just to see him fall at USA's was like kind of a hard setback. He gets to he gets to come back out, and he's kind of on a revenge tour, I would say. Yeah, uh, something big for this weekend. The weather was so nice, at like seven. I saw Drew out there on the trail. Yeah. Past him now, I was he like, was oh. going early, early. He said, he said his flight's at like 11. And he's leaving at 8. What's going on here? What's the plan for today? A little pre-meet. Coach Brock. Coach Brock's out here. LA is such an easy trip, so we're still here at Boulder day before. Yeah, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do like an 800. I did a workout Tuesday, so I feel like I haven't done anything at like threshold. Get the lungs moving a little bit, run like 440 pace, go around there. And then I'll do three by hundred, and I'll do probably two two hundreds after that. Chicken shoes are wrap sucks. <laughs> Very average. I'm gonna be there next year. Um, Remember next these year? next year or two probably on. I'm probably on the back though. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta beat that guy. Yeah, that guy, Terry. So I ended up getting upgraded to an exit room, and everyone else is in the back of the plane that's on the team. And so I'm just chilling. I mean, I got unlimited leg room up here. It's insane. It's so nice. It's so nice. How was the flight? Yes. I fell asleep the whole time. And then I uh, played Sudoku. Woke up early to do pre meet Yes, to be able to make it on time, and then it gets delayed an hour and a half. So, what was the point of that? With all the gang, when who knew you, told you I Welcome, friends. Please take your shoes off and stay a while. I'll take off my shoes, but I'm not staying. 
There's a hot tub? Wow. Oh, like a warm tub. What's up, YouTube? We're here in Whole Foods Glendale, and we're gonna be giving away $50 worth of groceries to the first loser I can find. Let's go find someone. Dude, congrats. I'm what? paying for your groceries. No way! Yeah, dude. Thank you, man. I really I really needed it. I, yeah. I needed money this oh, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dude. barely made it, man. Thank oh, you so much. Of course, man. Anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's crazy. The random guy I gave away the $50 to, we're now driving him home. I sound great. Such a good person. I know. Get a red, dude. That's like you got nothing but red 40 in it. It's been there for 20 years. <laughs> the crunch. I'll be giving away a foam roller to the next homeless person I see. No way! I don't have a house, but I have a roller. Like I said, I want to rock. Let them know I'm all in. Let them know I'm all in. Let them know I'm all in. Thanks, man. I feel good once Brock goes outside and gets his circuit circadian rhythm going by seeing natural sunlight. Until then, I'm depressed. When you got the power like Austin, exhausting, saying the truth, but no one listen. How to go and get it, let's form a coalition. Mega rev bound to blow, who's going with them? Wanna go fast or far? You crazy how tight. You know I literally am just all the way down. Like your pelvic floor is even uh, affected by tightness in your upper body, which is kind of interesting. Do you, you have a tight chest? Here, let me see. I'm yeah, in a, in a tight butt. That's how my story begins. Baby, I'm all in. Had to go out again in the morning. I'm a boss of this boss, I'm falling. But you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? song during my race, game over. You're gonna win and then set the world standard? You know the vibes. Yeah, mainly like California girls. Oh. Because we're in California. Firework perhaps? Firework would be a good one. Roar? Roar might be like kind of crazy. Still not yeah. So good wavelength. Mentally, I don't have that gear right now. I didn't have that gear. It was a, it was a squeeze for sure. We really had to notch it down a couple 64s. It's not something I used to be able to do before, like notch it down like that. It's just now that last bit, the kick. Bit of a mental thing still. We're getting a lot more, so love that. Segura looks great with 150 meters to go. Wake Forest. Antonio Lopez Segura, a bulldozer for Virginia Tech. Let's go, Antonio! Not the race you were looking for? Or? Nah. So good though. Yeah, good debut. We'll be back. Yep. Back for more. It's a good start. Yeah. Next Makes time. sense. There'll be more to come.
There is no pool in the basement. Huh? There was no pool in the basement. It's my pick. Just a little bit. See? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be just this. I, like, I never used to be so tired. I shouldn't be really strength work anymore. I've been sick. Yeah. Okay. Just an announcement, Kai, on the feet here. Just an announcement right here on the feet. <laughs> no, I said my prototype's broke in my last workout. <laughs> and I was like, hey, Elliot, like, you have a spare pair? And he's like, yeah, like a proto. Ends up just sending me these, like, oh, I ran out of your size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to be racing in these right now. <laughs> Weird, man. That's How you feeling? Doing good. My name is Jeff. Go Sam! So proud of you, man. So proud of you. That was great. I think that got it. Bro, I think that's good, man. I think that's good. I know how I pulled that off. That was impressive, bro. Good race. Sam. Way to fight. You would have told me I was going to leave the last K of that race. <laughs> About a week ago. I was like, what's the I That was good. There's something about yeah, I just sometimes get feel so bad before races. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You got blue. Shout out sound running. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you gotta keep the little bit of faith no matter what. My Achilles has felt like it was on the ropes for the past two weeks after coming back from Europe. And Last year, Prefontaine Classic, thought my knee was just gonna be done for the season. Back up against the wall, somehow figured out how to have fun under the stress. Whether that's enough for Budapest or not, I'm proud of being up against the wall and still fighting. <laughs> for, for like two years. Yeah, he's yeah, you, I had night terrors all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Craig, this this Craig always from. Craig always thought like there was like a bird in our dorm room. <laughs> so like in the middle of the night he'd be like, bird, man. <laughs> and, and, and stand up. The thing it was is like Craig always slept naked. And like and like there was one time. Oh, so I'm like flat. And, and he's like walking. Around naked it's like that's not a bird. <laughs> and he's like, get out of our room. Man. We had like a drop off. There's like a little walkway and there's like a fourth floor drop off like outside. Like it's not inside dorms. And like Craig just starts walking outside, but that's naked. Like they, like like following the bird out. And I'm like la I started like laughing my ass off and I was like, oh. oh. Like, I gotta go. I gotta like, go get him. He's talking about a bird, and there's like a. Like, I was just joking with Drew. I literally just said, "Yo, where they at? Where they at?" That one. Oh, nice you're a legend, bro. You're a legend, bro. How are you doing? It was a freshman or a sophomore yeah, yeah, yeah. in high school. Yeah. I was just walking out with my coach. Had no idea like what anything was. I yeah. remember seeing Tin Man Elite on like on Instagram. I think. Yeah. I was walking out, I was like, dude, I think that's Tin Man Elite. Yeah. I mean, I was dang, like, 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 like I could have talked to those guys. That was like, that was, like yeah. our second or third, you know, like. Yeah race video everything you know and like we like we like just like we like beat like one or two Bowerman guys and it was like oh like <laughs> felt like we won the super bowl you know what i mean see you sam uh, see you, i'm like this way i mean good coast race <laughs>